Hi, I'm moody, I'm feeling moody, and it's time for a moon message. Whew. Today is the waxing crescent moon under the astrological sign of Taurus. So that definitely is going to influence this reading for April. April. Yeah, Taurus. Let's start with you, Taurus. How about you? April. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What's going on with Taurus in love, Holy Spirit? Tell me about their desires. What's going on with both of them in love? So, okay, I'm being told I'm going to look at you individually. Okay, somebody wants an answer, and the other needs to be bold and make a first move. Mm. Okay, maybe somebody, um, hmm. I think both of you are getting ready to do something. Tell me about being bold and making the first move, because Taurus, you can be either here or there. Um, but something's going on. It's big. It's new. Maybe you two are coming together. You could be moving in. Uh, or somebody could be asking the other to marry them. Hmm. Six of Wands. This is a big coming out. Uh, hmm. Somebody could be getting accolades, getting acknowledgement, coming out, uh, recognition. Hmm. Somebody has to give somebody the proper recognition, I just heard too. Okay, it's a lot of ways this could go. That's true, okay. All right, spirit. All right, so I, I'm gonna read the cards straight, right, upright rather. Got it. Bottom card is three of wands. So there's definitely action happening here. Um, activity. Mm, you're being told now is the time to take action. Because you want this. You've been waiting for this to happen. And tell me about this new start. That's coming soon for this other energy dealing with. Taurus in April, upright, okay, mm. somebody is, wow, deserves what's coming, someone, this energy over here deserves what's coming after completing a successful lesson, yeah, I mean, they deserve it, wow, okay, so whatever you're being told to take action on, you need to know your partner, Taurus, they deserve it, you know. They balance you. You see yourselves together. It feels right for some reason. You know, this is somebody who has earned a new start. You know, they've gone through a thing or two and they've landed on their feet. They've landed on our feet. Tell me what's the mutual energy. They've landed on their feet. And I think both of you are like coming together. Tell me what the mutual energy is, Spirit. For Taurus, April, love. Mm. Upright, what is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, both of you have have been through a lot. You've come a long way. Uh, you've carried a load. You've gone through many trials and tribulations where things weren't always easy. You know, the water wasn't always calm. You had to endure certain things, but a new start is coming. You know, April, Taurus, is the beginning of the astrological year, right? Um, Aries is the first sign of the year. And that happens in April. April, spring really gets underway, right? And so it's warmer. It stays lighter, longer. So 
this is what's new, but somebody needs to take action, okay? Tell me more, spirit. Somebody is being told to take action that uh, now is the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe the time was new, the new moon. Maybe someone got engaged. Maybe somebody did step up to the plate. Okay, so some of you, that could be the situation. Leave me a comment. But it still looks promising. Um, it still looks promising, you two. Tell me what else. Seven of Cups. Okay. So it's like both of you really have options. You have options. And definitely the one who's hesitating and taking action. In spite of the fact that they've waited, that they recognize the main option, the one option that matters most, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone may also want to apologize with the Son of Cups. And maybe your relationship was turbulent and, you know, endured some hardships because of a choice that someone made. And now they want to apologize. Is that it, spirit? Mm. Mm hmm. Yes, look at that. Two fives. Again, now they want to apologize at the end of this cycle. Mm. Okay. So who is that? Is that this one who needs to step up and make the first move with an apology? Okay, because of all of the mayhem that was caused, the burdens, the turbulence, because of a choice. That choice could have even resulted in a baby, but now here's the mm -hmm. apology. Okay, so what are you uh, recommending, Holy Spirit? Mm. Mm. Hangman reverse and judgment reverse. And I'm reading those upright. Yeah, somebody's asking for another chance, an apology. I was feeling that. Um, so maybe this person who's looking for a new start wants to apologize, um, now sees things differently, realizes the importance. Somebody realizes the importance of you, uh, how much you mean to them, how you balance them. Ooh, they want to do the right thing. They're being called to do the right thing. Or maybe um, you are. Maybe this energy over here is just more apologetic. I don't know. Okay. Tell me about this energy over here. Mm, wow. Okay. The Mother of Swords reverse. Hmm. Yeah, they're pleading the fifth like they were out of their mind. They didn't know what they were doing when they abandoned you, when they didn't choose you. They're like uh, knowing they need to take action, but there's some fear because the Three of Wands is there. They're still waiting. They haven't taken it yet, I don't think. I don't think... Mm -mm. I think now they're really starting to understand the gravity of what they did here. And I'm not really sure if you're going to give them another opportunity. I don't know. What do you think, Spirit? What's your advice on this with Taurus? We all make mistakes. I. What is your advice here? Hmm? What is your advice? Yeah, things that I didn't see in the past, I see now, Taurus. Somebody is saying that. I recognize a lot more now. I recognize that you were the choice. Either you're saying this or someone's saying this to you. And they know now's the time to take action, to move. This was a very hard, difficult past. Could have impacted children, but they want to apologize. I mean, they want a new cycle with you. 
They want, mm, they do. And they see you, you know, you're like, you're over the situation of this others fighting, competing with you for this person's attention. You're over that. I mean, you got over that. And they see, it's like you're beaming, you're level, you're balanced, you're in control. You know, um, you're elevating and, and you, your perspective, you don't even think the same way that you used to. You don't act the same way. You don't look the same way. They just see you different. Mm. Tell me, spirit. Okay. Wow, bottom card. Forgiving. Mm. You know, I just did a reading on forgiveness. It's very important to let go of the past. And just because you forgive does not mean that you have to get back with them. It just means that you don't harbor the bitterness, the anger, the resentment. You don't even think about it. You make a conscious decision to change your thoughts where that is concerned. Better yet, you decide to have no thoughts on that anymore. That's what forgiveness is. You forgive them. You let it go. You forgive yourself. You know, you just let the whole situation go by just pardoning it. And it's done. You know, um, whatever this was, whoever this five of swords and five of wands and seven of cups, whoever caused this betrayal, I see that you have forgiven it. You have two major arcanas here clarifying your new start. That is forgiveness. And all together, may I reiterate, you have four major arcanas here. That's why you have a new start. This is somebody who just pardoned that, just forgave. Okay, so does that mean that they're going to get back together? I don't know. Tell me, spirit. New deck. So definitely we're forgiving the situation. I think both of you realize you have to forgive. Okay, so we forgive. And then what happens between the two of them? Because somebody does show up with an apology and judgment here asking for a second chance. Okay. Hmm. Okay, two cards here fell, and I'm taking them both, Spirit said. So, the first one is you will discover the truth about this situation soon. Yeah, because they ended with the three of wands, and I felt like they it hasn't happened. They know they need to take the action, probably beg for your forgiveness, not just an apology. A little more. But you're going to find out something very soon. And then the second card is this connection is moving to the next level. So, I... <laughs> that sounds kind of interesting. Um, yeah. Let's see. Moving to the next level. Tell me more, spirit. The Taurus. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Okay. Still, nothing really says that you two get back together. It's like something more is going to be revealed soon. We know that. But, um... Let's see. This is my other deck. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Inquiry minds want to know, spirit. What is exactly going to happen here for Taurus? April 2023 in love in this situation. Forgiveness is the key. They forgive, and it is a possibility. Mm. There's a celebration. 
Yeah. So it's moving to the next level, leveling up leveling up so maybe they'll take you back Taurus maybe you'll take them back because you both realize that a mistake was made um but maybe enough time has transpired that you see the growth they definitely see the growth in you um maybe you guys were married and and you didn't go through with the divorce and now you have an opportunity to celebrate your anniversary for some of you i think that's it i think that's it um you get the opportunity to spend time again this could have just been something that caused your commitment to go deeper that's what i'm feeling mm -hmm. oh deception fell though hmm there could be still an issue with honesty um maybe not all of the options that they may have got an entanglement with are closed. I mean, maybe something's still open. There's still something. So be aware of that. Or if you are, whoever's coming with the deception, mm, mm, especially towards this energy that forgives you. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. If I was you, I I would be very honest about everything. Uh, if there is a child, if there is uh, still something hanging in the balance, if you're still living with them, some of your things are there, whatever you have to talk about. Because I think you do love this person. I really do. And I will tell you, they are blessed. So you don't want to come with any deception. Nobody wants to be playing no mind games. None of that, not this time around. This is an, a, an opportunity. Somebody has an opportunity. So you don't want to withhold any information. You want to disclose everything, put it all out on the table. Yes, and then, you know, let them decide how they want to proceed. That's just some advice here. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what's going on with you. And happy April, happy new year in astrology. And Taurus, for those of you who have given me love and support, thank you. And until the next moon phase, namaste.